The next speaker is Georgios Pitsiladis, and the title of the talk is pre lattices in Univalent Foundations. Hello. Uh, oh. Let's start. Uh, you all know about Univalent Foundations and Unimath, I suppose, but I have a slide for that. Uh, Univalent Foundations uh, is the pursuit to formalize mathematics using type theory. Uh, one library to do that in Coke is Unimath. Uh, it's thus a constructive structural framework in which to do math, which I believe is great. Uh, some algebraic structures have already been formalized there. I got wondering uh, how easy it would be to define by lattices and their basic theory in Unimath. Uh, it is a work in progress. It's very rough and initial, uh, which can be found there. Uh, you are probably all familiar with lattices, but I have a slide for that as well. Uh, <laughs> lattices uh, can be defined uh, equivalently either as partially ordered sets where every pair of elements has an infimum and supremum, or equivalently as a set with two operators having some properties. Uh, there is already a formalization for that in Unimath. It uses the second definition, not equivalent. Uh, now, pre lattices are just pairs of lattices over the same set. Uh, we usually think of the one as the truth lattice and the other as the knowledge lattice. Uh, for the operators of the f truth lattice, we use meet and join, the terms meet and join. For the operators of the knowledge lattice, we use the operators, the names, consensus and Galbrilic. Some simple finite uh, pre lattices are these ones. Uh, there are, of course, uh, infinite pre lattices, but it wouldn't make any difference to draw them here. Uh, you can observe that some of them are, look uh, kind of, I don't know, squarish. Uh, they have lines like this going from top left to bottom right and lines like that drawing from going from top left to bottom to ah that direction okay uh, we'll uh, consider them later that's why i'm making this remark uh, now the definition of uh, pre lattices is symmetric just two lattices we can exchange them then obtain and obtain another pair by lattice. This is a duality. Dualities are great because we can use proofs. So say for example we have a property like that, not important what it says, and the, the dual property that just uh, exchanges uh, truth by knowledge lattices. Well having proven the first one, the second uh, should and can be proved like this, easily, uh, mainly using the fact that uh, some basic properties interlacing, which we'll see what it is, is uh, respected by switching the lattices. Uh, there are also other dualities. We can just uh, uh, invert the one lattice. So it's... Uh, very crucial in uh, pre lattices that we usually prove one thing and then we say the else other seven properties are dual. So it would be, it can happen. In Unimath, it would be nice to have a formal way to do that. I don't know if that happens usually. Uh, now, so the two basic properties of pre lattices are interlacing. A pre lattice is, is interlaced if all uh, four operators are monotone with respect to both orders. Uh, the other property is distributivity. If uh, all four uh, uh, operators, uh, pairs of operators, obey the distributive property, it's uh, the first easy property that we have is that the second uh, implies the first. It can be proved easily in Unimath. The other notion, which is interesting and pertains to the rest of the talk, is uh, the product by lattice. 
Uh, there we have two different lattices over different sets. We can think of the first one as evidence for a claim and the, the second one as evidence against the claim. And then we can form the product by lattice over the uh, product, uh, where the four operators are defined like this. Not really important here. Uh, now, there is a theorem in pre lattices, uh, the first big theorem of pre lattices. And it says that every product by lattice is interlaced, which is easy to prove in Unimath, although a little cumbersome. And the second part that says that every interlaced pre lattice is isomorphic to a product pre lattice. This one is a bit more tricky. Uh, there is a mathematical proof, of course, uh, for example, in this paper, uh, which goes like uh, this. You define uh, two equivalence relations, which in fact uh, encode the thing that I was talking about, the lines that go uh, diagonally. The first uh, relation says that the two elements are in such a line from top left to bottom right, and the second is the symmetric one. You then take the equivalence classes, form lattices uh, using them, and take the product uh, mathematically, it's uh, very easy, and uh, most of this happens by hand waving. Uh, if you try to do it uh, in Unimath, it's a little more difficult. Uh, the most tricky part is that you need to take the equivalence classes and uh, show that uh, some, opera they, uh, some operators respect uh, uh, a construction respect some operators. Uh, the first item here. Uh, and the second uh, part is that you want then to show that the two set, the two sets of equivalence classes, the product of this is uh, isomorphic to the initial set. For all this, we, uh, you need to use, I think, is uh, this function with, uh, which uses univalence and does not compute. Uh, so you then cannot uh, prove the most crucial part, uh, conclude the theorem and say that the, the interlaced pre lattice you started with is equivalent to the product pre lattice you formed because you want to lift the equivalence from the sets to the pre lattices. Uh, hopefully an anonymous reviewer indicated how this can happen. It's uh, the structure identity principle, uh, which what you do, you build the precategory of the uh, pairs of set and pre lattice. Uh, morphisms, morphisms are set functions which respect pre lattice structure, the operators. Uh, so the SIP implies that uh, isomorphisms in this category are equalities. Using that, you can easily say, easily, okay. You can uh, obtain uh, this term that says what the theorem says. Uh, yeah. Mm, that's most, that's all of it, actually. Uh, so this can hopefully be used to prove uh, properties of interlaced pre lattices by reducing them to product pre lattices, to properties of product pre lattices. This is, uh, which have more definite structure. Uh, it, there is also, also a version of the representation theorem for distributed by lattices. And having done all that, it would be another, st another step would be to go to by lattices which uh, add negation in one or the other or both orders. And that's all. Any questions? Hi. Um, what is a bilattice? So you've talked about pre bilattices, but what would be ah, a bilattice? Yes. Uh, a bilattice is a pre bilattice with uh, negation. 
either in the one of the two lattices or in both of them. N not all by lattices can be by lattices, yes. The symmetric ones are. So have you have you needed the full power of univalence in this development or have you just needed for example propositional and function extensionality? Uh, I needed function extensionality, and I also needed uh, this uh, set code uniprop which uh, lifts uh, properties uh, from uh, sets to equivalence classes. I think it uh, has univalence underneath. <coughs> it uses univalence. Short question. Uh, from Unimat, you, you use uh, the logical infrastructure or also the al you reuse results about uh, algebraic structure? Uh, could you repeat? Uh, uh, what do you use exactly from Unimat, uh, especially the logical infrastructure, let's say, the definition like the set quote uniprop, or do you reuse? Uh, development of lattices, for instance, already? Uh, yes, I'm using uh, all uh, the formulation of lattices and the theorems and all that, and yes, yeah, some other stuff from Unimat sets and categories. You reuse a lot of, uh, of Unimat already? Yes, as much as I could reuse, and I have uh, proved a couple of things that were missing. Uh, could you say what, uh, like, why you're interested in, in bilattices or what they're used for? I mean, you kind of had a little bit of interpretation with like the knowledge uh, and the gullibility of. Uh, uh, yes, they are usually uh, they are usually used in uh, knowledge representation and artificial intelligence and that kind of thing. You, uh, the first one to be defined was the four, uh, where you have four truth values, true, false, both true and false, neither true nor false. Uh, and you model uh, stuff like, uh, there are many sources uh, of information for one proposition, so you may, the one may say truth, true, the other may say false, so what you do, do you do then? And it has evolved from that. Let's thank the speaker again.